KPX 5's Wilson Walker is live in Alameda with a look at the governor's last pitch to keep his job. Wilson. Yeah, about 7 million Californians have already voted here. The, the final push here these last days is just to get anyone who still might have a ballot that could end up in a box like that one. Look, this election is today. The election is tomorrow. The election ends on Tuesday at 8.01 p.m. On this final Saturday of the election, Governor Gavin Newsom was in Oakland, joined by fellow Democrats and members of SEIU 2015. Those are long-term caregivers. 2015! Governor was here to urge those union members to get out and rally more people to vote no. There are just a few days left to vote, but there are still millions of outstanding ballots that could be returned, and there are all the voters who may actually find their way into a voting booth. Um, I didn't receive my ballot, but I will be first in line on Tuesday morning. Now, addressing the crowd today, the governor stayed on the same message that we've been hearing really since he first started campaigning, and that is framing the recall around one specific opponent. If we don't turn in the ballots and turn out the vote on September 14th, Larry Elder will be the next governor of the state of California. But speaking with reporters, the governor did acknowledge some optimism based on the raw numbers they have seen so far. I, I just, I, I'm hopeful because I'm, I'm seeing some good signs early ballots being turned in. Um, and we can track that. We know how many ballots have been turned in. We watch that every single day. Uh, you can actually go back and poll people uh, that have turned in their ballots. So you really get a sense of where you are going into election day. Pollsters are doing the same thing. This poll that came out of Berkeley yesterday that shows the 22-point lead. They went and checked with all the people that responded to their poll. They found about 40% of them had already voted. At least that's what they were told. Then they went and double-checked with the registrar's offices to confirm that number. So there is a decent set of data now on how voters are turning out in this election. And as you can hear, the governor's camp, pretty confident here, uh, Julia, going into, into these last couple days, you can you kind of hear it in his voice there that he feels pretty comfortable with where things stand. You know, just end of July, early August, said to be a dead heat, a, a pretty dramatic, dramatic shift there, and you can, you can hear it in his voice. We will wait to see. We'll have coverage on Tuesday. Wilson, thank you. And first part, Republican candidate Larry Elder took his campaign to Southern California this weekend and also took time out to observe the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Earlier today, the radio host spoke at events in Lake Forest and Fullerton took part in one ceremony by reading some of the names of those who died in the 9-11 attacks. Republican Caitlyn Jenner, who is also hoping to unseat Governor Newsom, is campaigning in Los Angeles. And today, she toured a homeless shelter, spoke with staff, and listened to residents' personal stories. Yeah, I'm a very caring person. That's why I'm running for governor. I'm very caring about people um, and about the situations they're in. And everybody needs a hand. I needed a hand in life. I struggled with a lot of things in my life. KPIX 5 will have special coverage on election night and beyond. It all starts on the news at 7 and continues through the evening on CBSN Bay Area. We will also be bringing you live and streaming updates on Wednesday, starting with the KPIX 5 morning news at 430.